Hi guys, and thanks for checking out this video here at Black Stag Styling. If it's the first video you've checked out, don't forget, do get on the channel, check out a few of our other videos as we, as we have loads of styling repairs, hydro dipping, some pretty cool uh, Ford Transit Customs and uh, Ranger pickup trucks as well. So do check them out on the channel, check out some of the other videos. But the reason you are joining us for today is to check out the video we are doing on this awesome Audi Q8. Um, so it's the S-Line uh, version, um, it's the diesel, really cool bit of kit, this looks lovely in the black. It's already had some extra styling done as, um, as you'll see as you look around the vehicle. Um, we'd say like wheels, calipers, um, it's uh, got the Maxton design uh, body styling bits to it as well which we do supply and fit here. Uh, so give us a shout if we can help with any of that. But um, the reason it is in with us is uh, firstly is some couple of little bits of body work. So it's had some work done in the past to, to colour code some bits to the black unfortunately have not been done that well some of it's been uh, what's well, been wrapped and it's it's not fantastic so uh, Ben who uh, is a good customer of ours has brought it to us we're going to strip all these bits off and redo them and repaint them uh, so they'll be done properly or stripped off the vehicle we've also got a couple of other bits full rear bumper we're repairing and painting as well just for some little scratches and, and uh, imperfections so we're doing all them bits around the vehicle but the main thing and the reason you're joining us for today is for the hydro dipping so we are going to be removing all the interior silver trims so this is on all four doors uh, centre console, dashboard um, and we're going to be removing all the silver bits, we'll be uh, stripping everything off them that we need, then painting them in the required colour which is like a dark grey and hydro dipping them in our carbon fibre finish and then of course they'll all be gloss lacquered, re-plastic welded, refitted onto the trims and then refitted into the car so do stay tuned for this one, going to be an awesome video, we do love our hydro dipping Adding the carbon to this is just going to take it to the next level with the interior and of course with the exterior styling and the extra little bits we're doing as well so it's going to look super awesome at the end so stay tuned keep watching as we go through all the bits we're doing we're going to show you how everything is done how it's done properly and professionally here with ourselves don't forget do a like and subscribe to the old channel turn on the old notifications um, stay up to date with everything we're doing we've got loads of new uh, cool stuff coming up on the channel very soon so uh, like i say like and subscribe to the old channel we're going to get this into the workshop so we can uh, roll the old intros get it in get cracking with the work here we go Right, we're now going out in the old workshop to see how Adam's getting on stripping the interior panels on the Audi. Right, here we go. Hello, a bit mate. Of a beast, this bit of a beast, this thing, isn't it, Ad? It's nice, isn't it? Rather smart. It's got <coughs> the uh, Maxton design styling on, uh, mm. which is the lower fr front splitter, side skirts, and some rear spoilers. And we do mm. all of that stuff, don't we, pal? We do, mate. We do indeed. We can always help with yeah, that. Yeah, lovely as well. bit of kit. You come and have a look inside it. Look at this, look. Let's have a little look. A bit flash in here, look. California air fresheners and all that. Does look smart, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool dash, I do like the dash. Yeah, part. that's going to be even cooler soon. It is, isn't it? Do you know why? Tell us, talk us through it. Because we are removing all of these brushed aluminium trims. You'll see there's quite a lot of them in here around the centre cons, like everywhere they are. And we are uh, going to prep them up and the hydro dip them in the carbon effect. So soon this will soon look like this. <laughs> Not like this, it'll look like this. Let's have a little look, shall we? That is smart, eh? Hey, huh? Do you like the that? carbon? That's a, probably our yeah. most popular finish on that, I'd Got say. A couple, of, a couple of trims out ready, look. Let's try to unplastic weld this silver trim round here, and then they'll be ready to prep up. Yeah, a few Priming little scratches, up, you said, up. didn't you? A, few yeah, a little bit of damage, yeah. These, you find these brushed aluminium trims, they damage quite easily. Yeah. Yeah, it's people getting in with keys, and that's trouble, isn't it? Yeah. 
I think it is powerful. Look much better in the carbon though, because it have nice gloss lacquer. It'll look lovely in the carbon, won't it? Right, let's look get this right one out smart. then, shall we? Go for it, pal. Where were we? Nice ones to remove as well, for a change. No yeah. door cut off. And then like I say, it's just a plastic weld and get the bits apart. I think the uh, centre console panels... Uh, yeah, this, panel. this one is looking <laughs> like it might be a little bit trickier. A bit more of a challenge. Yeah. But we like a challenge. We like a little challenge, don't we, hey? We like a challenge. As you can see, Adam's using the plastic trim tools to make sure that we don't damage any of the uh, other interior trims. We do like to take care of um, our customers' cars. Yeah, got it, yeah. Treat them as if they're your own. Exactly. Ah, you know it. there you go. That's the pop I was looking for there. He's got it. Just like that, look. Just like that, hey? Superb, mate. Mm. And then, like I say, I'm plastic welder, and away we go. Get away them all um, go. repaired and prepped. Oh, don't rush me. I've still got one more day out. OK, mate. <laughs> one more day out. We'll have a little look around the rest of the car, I think, because it's, um, it's quite nice, this. It's the S-Line edition. I don't know if it's a black edition. It could well be. Um, like I say, we're already, we are doing some uh, extra bits of paint work on it, um, but this is more because it's had some wrap. Uh, put on to disguise sort of the grey and chrome trims. Unfortunately, the wrap never quite looks as good as a painted finish. So we are stripping all these bits off and painting and lacquering them in the black. Um, so that'll uh, give a much nicer, much smarter finish. One of the trims particularly is on the back. So we are doing the whole rear bumper, but one of the rear trims, if we can see it, on the bottom there, as you can see, look, the wrap has all come off. So we're, um, we're properly prepping them and then painting everything. Right, we'll leave Ad to uh, crack on taking the trims out and um, we'll check in with him in a moment. Thanks for coming. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Right, Tommy's now released all the fixings for the front bumper, so they're going to pop this off. It's nice and easy, wasn't it, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant design. Two or Two or three screws. I literally slid off. I'm surprised you don't fall off down the road. <laughs> the clips were non existent. Yeah, lovely. Didn't, didn't take you half an hour. No, it just fell off just like that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bumper all off. And then Tommy can start stripping all the bits. Oh, oh. Only another hour of stripping, I reckon you'll be there, mate. Thank you. Yes, but a bit dusty now, look. A bit dusty. Oh, not on your well, new He's got his new hoodie all dusty, look. Yep. There's Tommy sporting the uh, Black Stag yes. hoodie. Oh. Very sporting. Very, sp very sporting, sir. Very sporting. Available in all sizes from our website for Thanks. just a small price. <laughs> We're going to put the link in the description up here. Oh, no. In the top corner. <laughs> or up there. Could be down here in the description. Could be anywhere. You Could be, just don't know. Right, we're just going to see how Ad's getting on with uh, stripping the interior. He's been enjoying himself here, look. Oh, we're having some fun around here, mate. He's doing well, so he's had to take quite a few bits out of yeah, the uh, right. centre, off the dash, centre console, but he's getting there now. And confirmed Audi's very well put together. Yes, yeah, they, they are. Uh, plenty of clips, fixings and screws. So he's had to release a number of screws that are underneath here. So he's had to take glove box out, uh, as you can see all down there, look. Look at that, look. To get to the screws. Uh, centre screen out as well, so that's all out of the way. Still got the uh, centre, rest of the centre console to strip. Just to get these grey trims. Oh, like. We like a challenge, don't we, mate? Right, we're finally there, mate. Well done, After pal. A lot of screws. And a couple of hours of working out. A little bit of blood. Sweat, a little, little bit of bit blood. Sweat. <laughs> Any cake? No cake. <laughs> There we go. Something, something still got me. So there you go. For anybody who thinks, you know, it's just popping a few trims out to hydro dip them, it's a good example of uh, it's not. It's right. stripping half a dashboard apart to get the trims out. All right, we're finally out, pal. Well done, pal. Yeah, we got there in the end, didn't we? A bit we fiddly. Got there in the end, yeah. We'll unplastic weld the obviously the little light bar on it. Prep it up. Paint it great. I just flip a dip it. Lovely jubbly. Lovely, lovely, yeah. Hello, mate. How you doing? 
<laughs> we're, are you caught? We're just in time, mate. We're just uh, unplastic welding the last uh, chrome trim off these panels. Superb, mate. Superb. But there we go. There it is. Easy as that, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Well, glad you, <laughs> not glad you popped over it, because um, it was something special around here today. Oh, go on. Look mm. at this brand new Baco trim tool. <laughs> <laughs> we got today, supplied by Movac. Uh, oh, we're very good. happy with it. It's a very, very strong tool. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Right, here we go. We've uh, entered the, uh, our, our smaller booth with Adam, who's just getting some uh, primer down onto the old trims. So we, uh, we'll see where he's getting on, look. You can see he's, he's getting on well, I can see that, but... There we go, a little bit of primer. Doesn't need loads, but... Just enough to give a give a little bit of a control to the old colour. There we go. <laughs> Done a lovely job there, mate. Lovely job. Right now, time to get a little bit of colour onto the trim. A little bit of dark grey, which is the uh, finish of the colour we need for the carbon fibre. And we've got the first coat on the trims just here. There we go. Look. Getting the uh, colour down onto the other ones. Right, here we go. We're now going to have a quick look at the spray booth where Fraser has now got all the panels and trims uh, ready to be painted in the body colour uh, instead of that horrible wrap which was all peeling off. Uh, they're already primed. He's now about to lay down a little bit of colour and then a nice bit of gloss clear coat. Here we go. have another vehicle in with us a nice Audi uh, Q5 in the white and Rob has just been painting the brake calipers so well we might as well just show you these look so they've been done in the yellow heat resistant paint and then we've got the S-line decals put on as well just to finish that look off Rob's now getting the wheels back on the vehicle here we are over with Tommy ready for a bit of hydro flip and a dibbon yeah boy already mate yeah yeah pretty much we have jacuzzi ready over there 34 degrees. Um, Optimum I've, temperature. Yeah, we've got my trunks on under here. I won't show you, you know, I want to get the, the ladies to, uh, get <laughs> too, her, yeah, too worked up. Too flustered on that. Well, you know it. Um, even though our main demographic is males, I've watched that. <laughs> All the males. Well, yeah. As well, you know, yeah, why not? Young lads like us. Anyway, back to the hydro dipping. Yeah, back to the hydro dipping, sir. Um, so, basically, we've cut two sides, which is 40 by whatever that needs to be like you just go as obviously as long as what you need for the part yep um we've put a little bit of um inch tape on here to reinforce it you then cut little slits in because when you put it in the water it goes that way and then it pulls back in again that's it so you need a little bit of flexibility you know it. yeah um, keep the design um, together and this is carbon we're doing yeah it? yeah this one's called hard carbon and we're going over Mid carbon grey. Lovely. So look underneath there. It doesn't show it's quite the same, but. No. So you're done on this idea. side and then. Superb, mate, superb. So we're ready to get this in the tank. Yes. And get it doing some activating. Yeah, yeah. baby. Right now, washing off the parts, get rid of the uh, PVA glue off the back. And uh, washing this with the warm water, Tommy's now on that. Yep. There we go. We'll do this to all the bits, and uh, then uh, once everything's all hydro dipped, we'll be ready to get some nice glossy clear coat on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, baby. 
Right, so we're now going to go and have a little look to see how uh, Razor is getting on with the uh, hydrogen bits for the Audi. Uh, they're all prepped up, all ready to go, all ready to lacquer. We're going to see how he is getting on. Right, so the parts are now all lacquered, all the uh, bits have been uh, hydro dipping in the carbon. So as always, just gonna give you a little look at these. They've still got to be flattened and polished uh, before they get fitted back in the vehicle. But let's give you a little look. They look rather smart, all of these. So all done in the carbon. There we go, look. Looking rather cool. So these are the uh, side door sections, go around where the handles are. There with the back ones, these will be the front. Another one there as well. Then we've got the centre dash section, which is rather cool. So because of the size of it, we've got carbon at that end. Just goes into the black on the centre, so that'll tie in with the trims in the middle, and then back to the carbon on the sides. So that's the long side trim. And then the two uh, door sections as well. We've got a couple of other bits we've already finished. So they're upstairs, ready to be uh, um, polished and then fitted back on the vehicle. There we go, look, look rather cool, all of them. Right, so we're we'll getting these out of the booth now and then uh, get them all polished, flattened and polished, and um, of course, then get them fitted back in. There we go. Right, here we are with Add just refitting some of the hydro dip bits, haven't we, mate? Oh, mate, we're getting them all back in now. I've got a few bits in to be fair already. Look, I've got this long bit in here. Uh, all little quite fiddly because they've got all little lights in. See these little lights, little light bars, so you have plastic okay. weld back on. Looking smart, mate, in the carbon. Uh, blended into the black. These side bits on so far. Look at lovely. Smart, uh, looking, uh, looking good. I've got one little bit over here. This little bit here. Yeah? Oh, yes. I love it, yeah. huh? looking rather, rather suave, you know, rather yeah. suave. It's going to look nice when it's all done. Well, that the uh, hedge, or well, the main... Main screen. Hedge, it, or main screen, yeah. yeah. Been a little bit of a fiddly one, isn't it, mate? Oh, the Audi's always are a little bit, mate. Yeah. Put together well. Put together well, and then a bit of a pain to get apart. And back together. Yeah. Mate, you're doing a sterling job, sir. A few more bits to do. Get there, mate. We'll check in with you in a mo. All right, mate. Real. How are we getting on, pal? Oh, mate, you're back again. I'm yeah. back with a vengeance. We're all right, mate. We're all right. We've had a little bit of lunch now. Feeling better after yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had sausage rolls. They were lovely. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, so yeah, we're getting there now. Most of the Z dash is all back in there. We can call them. Yeah, we've just got this centre piece to go back in here. Reattach his knob. Looks have lost. Oh, his knob's up there. <laughs> And then a fair few bits under the centre, under the sort of console, under there on that side. But yeah, just under. Apart from that, we're winning. We got a glove box back again. Look, there it is. See that? Lovely, jubbly. No gloves, but but there is a box. Yeah. And then we have got just door cards, haven't we? I think to get the yeah, bits on the door cards. Do so a bit of plastic welding on them before I uh, go. But then they're just yeah, pop that in. Lovely times. Lovely, fucking lovely times. Superb. probably just see behind me Fraser has now started the machine polishing uh, it's a bit noisy in the background as you can uh, as you can tell but he's moving on nicely with that and we'll, uh, we'll have a little look at how he's doing
Right, we're just going to go and see how Adam is getting on with the last bits going into the Audi from the Hydra dipping in the carbon. So it's just the door card sections to be fitted on now. Uh, Fraser's been doing the machine polishing, uh, so we are nearly done with that. So uh, yeah, final little touches now. So uh, do stay tuned for this one so you can see the end results. Right, we're going to see how Adam's getting on. Here we go, are you there? I'm here, pal, I'm here. Right, time to get that last trim in, Ad. Time to get it in, mate. Just lining it up. Here we go, there we go. And then all we do is do a little tap in, look. They're nice, the door trims. It's easy to refit. They go in nicely, don't they? Look at that, look. How have we yeah. done it, huh? Look and smile. We can handle it, we can handle it, can't we? We can handle it, pal. Can we handle it? Last one on the front, is it? Last we one, there? Mate. You'll watch that as well, do you? Yeah, man. Let's do I, it. I won't watch this one over, but I'll do it once it's in. This brings us to the end of another one of our videos here at Black Stag Styling. It's been a pleasure having you along for this one. Um, it's been a pleasure working on uh, another Audi, this one being the uh, Q8. Uh, big big bit of kit this, really smart in the black with all the extra touches it had already got, but of course we've added some black stag styling to it as well. Uh, we have done some repairs as you'll have seen to the vehicle, um, but uh, we're going to run through everything we've done. Thanks again to Ben for trusting us with another one of his vehicles, always a pleasure. Um, so let's start at the beginning so really the first bits we've done of course being the bodywork we've not focused too much on this uh, but we had the front and rear bumpers off uh, stripped some poor wrapping that had been done in the past um, and then prepped everything stripped it all prepped it all done it all in uh, the uh, uh, black uh, to match the vehicle and then with a nice gloss lacquer of course everything fitted back on at the end um, I've also done a full machine polish to this at the end um, just to just to liven up the paintwork get rid of any fine scratches um, but the main thing we have done which the whole video is focused on is of course our hydro dipping so we have stripped all the interior trims that were in the silver uh, so that's dashboard tr trims all out door card trims center console and everything has been fully prepped uh, repaired because it had minor scratches over everything then painted in the required grey then hydro dipped in the Ford uh, in the carbon um, effect uh, and then of course everything reprepped and then done in a lovely gloss lacquer everything polished and then fitted back into the vehicle um, of course then we've given the, the interior a clean of course to finish really makes a massive difference to this with the uh, carbon interior instead of the silver um, and um, that just finishing black stag touch of course uh, thanks for checking out the video it's been a pleasure having you along for the ride please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the old notifications stay fully up to date with everything we're doing check out some of our other uh, socials as well like instagram and facebook check out our website of course as well all the links are down below check them out we're going to give you a last look around the vehicle uh, of course to finish the video off and hopefully we'll catch you again in the near future for some more videos take care see you soon